Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Uh, got another gameplay for you slash defensive tips video. This is going to be some tips, some of which borderline cheats, uh, that can really help you play defense better in Madden 21. Uh, other than that, we're going to go get right into the video. But before I do, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, uh, likes, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out me and all my videos, helps out my channel. So if you want to help me out back the same way I'm trying to help you, I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, if you like what you see, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. So starting off on the defensive side, I'm playing a draft champions. I took the Seattle playbook, which is a playbook that I'm not too familiar with on defense. Uh, so the first series, I'm doing a lot of labbing, a lot of uh, messing around, just looking at some of these more interesting plays that I see, like the Wolf Trap Show 3. Looks pretty cool, but I actually, you know, you can't really lab in live gameplay <laughs> when it comes to your opponent. Uh, he's hiking the ball super fast, so I'm trying to get like setups in, trying to make uh, make a blitz out of this particular play, and it's just not working out. So a good person portion of this first drive uh, is really me labbing a lot of more interesting looking plays like this cross three fire seam thing that I just saw like I said a lot of these plays are really unique and they're not in a lot of other playbooks uh, but I'm just kind of you know I'm not I'm not playing my opponent like I normally would so the first drive he's having a little bit more success uh, than he typically would uh, but I don't really care about that the first drive is probably the most insignificant drive uh, when it comes to what happens because a lot of times you're just picking up on your opponent's tendencies uh, which is you know that's something that over the course of the game will pay dividends but in the first drive it's really not going to matter that much on the next play though is probably my first tip tapping x can really help out when it comes to either tackling or there you can see it really sucks me in to the play to basically playing the run uh, as you can see i get a really nice stop behind the line so third and one watching for tendencies is going to be important he hits this running back out of the backfield a lot i make a pre-snap adjustment takes that away no nope. uh, he goes for on fourth and one though and he just barely gets it a nice little spin there might have been an animation I'm not 100 percent sure uh but like i said the first drive i'm really not too worried about the results uh you typically are just using that to study your opponent you're gonna want to try to remember as much as possible like where he likes to go with the ball he's throwing to the running back a lot he already did this once or twice uh i tried to get out to it but i kind of get caught i'm going to remember that uh, particular formation later Next up, he's on the goal line. One of the best goal line defenses to run is the cover two zone, uh, especially with hard flats. You typically want to hard flat down to take away anything short. You can see he tries to run for it. There's nothing nope. there. So fourth and five, I come on that cover two again. I put a lot of guys in the zones because I'm expecting him to be in zones, but I take myself and put him into a QB contain. Uh, and sure, if I just play too shallow, Bruh. it's fourth and five. Uh, so it's essentially he's got 20 yards to work with. Cover two is really best in really short distances. I probably should have came out something a little bit different there, but no big deal. So like I said, the game just started. On offense, um, you know, I'm not going to really go over too many tips on the offensive side. But I do find a really good passing play that I'll show you guys a little bit later uh, out of the Seahawks playbook that I've never really messed with, and it really does wonders for me. On the first series, though, still kind of labbing once again. I find a uh, fade smash look that I thought I had a step here. Try to lob it up, but... I guess he didn't have a step, and he gets the pick. So, not too bad, though. I mean, it's essentially a punt. But since I'm down six already, so we're really going to have to step it up this second drive. First drive is more of a learning drive. Second drive, really have to use what we learned. So, next play, I'm trying some experimental man coverage blitzes. Um, he's got multiple crossing routes. I'm stuck on a DT. Really simple way to know where the ball is going to go when there's multiple options is just basically flow with the quarterback. Whatever the direction the quarterback goes is typically the direction the pass is going to go. Nope. So, if he rolls to the right, I roll to the right and follow him. And you see we get a really easy i mean i was all over the correct receiver and we ultimately make the play uh next play though he gets a little bit yards back uh and then you know he's off to the races we're getting some stupid animations by the way here's a play i've met contact with him at the 40 and he basically just immediately within a split second carries my defender six yards uh after contact like what's going on with some of these animations the next run um he threw a lot of contact again i don't know i guess david montgomery is an absolute savage in this game i don't necessarily understand that uh third and one we're going to go back to 
exactly like I was saying before, remember tendencies, remember formations. That was a play he hit me with multiple times. I was on it so much that I was hitting the Y button to try to catch it before he even threw the ball. Nope. That's why I made that jump animation, then we get to stop. Then on fourth and one, he goes for it, and we guess run. This year, guessing run is a really solid option. You have to do that more often than not, especially in those fourth and short, third and short situations. So this is the passing play that I was telling you about, the Hawk slot post. Um, he's running a lot of man coverage. Man coverage is the way to go this year. I'm running a lot of man coverage. He's running a lot of man coverage. He's got a cover two man look. And that Y route basically is just going to get inside uh, on this particular play. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to come in handy a lot throughout this entire game. So you're going to see that play crop up a couple times. So we're going to hit him with a couple of run plays. I make a nice little juke there to get a lot of extra yards. Uh, basically ran out of stamina at that point, but I've got I mean, work done's a beast for me. Pretty much every mode that I use him, he's one of my favorite running backs. And then the next play, I mean, I probably could have went to that B route, but I just didn't like it. It wasn't quite comfortable. I figured I could take a nice, easy run. You know what I'm saying? Don't force the ball. Don't try to throw another interception when I'm, when I'm already moving the ball. On the very next play, I'm going to use one of his own tricks against him. He's running a lot of man coverages, so I know that if I go with the level sail, that he's going to have to cover the running back, and he's probably not going to do that very well, just like I wasn't in my own man coverage. People typically use plays that they have trouble stopping. I know based off the fact that he wasn't aligned in front of the running back that I have an outside release and we get a really easy touchdown. So we take the lead 7-6. Back on defense I'm still in a scenario where I'm trying to like lab stuff and I was like you know what let me see if I can make something out of this Samuel Blitz. I was completely oblivious to the fact that there was 5 seconds left in the half. I had no idea so I'm trying to do something trying to see if I can make some adjustments to try to get some heat out of this particular play and he's just going to go ahead and bomb it up. But I didn't even know it was the last play until I heard the announcer say it was the last play. So he scores a touchdown to go ahead before half. What, are you fucking retarded or something? That ain't fucking right. Uh, but that's a perfect opportunity to talk about situational awareness. You need to be aware of things like the time clock and the situation so that you can make smarter decisions. I should have been in a cover three deep there, but like I said, I was two in my own uh, zone trying to create some plays. So he's going to go for it nope. on uh, two-point conversion. I remembered that formation from earlier. He got nothing there. I shut him down. Then on the offensive side, first play, we get a sack. <laughs> a big sack although the animation almost looked like it was an incomplete pass like he threw out of the sack no big deal though uh second and 20 like i said we have some good pass plays out of this particular formation uh next play though just a little bit off uh you know a little bit too tight in the coverage like i say he's running a lot of cover two man just like i do most of the year uh the next play though we're just gonna go we're gonna spread them out third and 20 looks like he comes out in the soft zone and sure enough that a route just goes right up the middle and we get a nice safe secure catch to, to get that first down back so like i said we're down but we're not you know we still have uh plenty of time here to make things happen on the next play once again not making the best reads at the moment i think that we had the y route underneath we're gonna hit him with that hawk slot post one more time and i catch him in a cover four quarters break yourself fool If I would have waited even longer until he got across the field, it probably would have been even easier if we score a really easy uh, one-play touchdown. Like I said, really good play. Something I got a lab and experiment with a little bit more. We go for two. He doesn't necessarily come out in the best defense for a goal line. Uh, we just walk that right in. So we're up three now. We're up a field goal after not the best start. Uh, and we're basically, you know, we're in a situation now where we basically just have to play smart. Here's another scenario. Tapping that X button uh, to get through that block and make that tackle a really good animation. I'll take that. Then I start to notice he starts rolling out a lot, basically leaving his line alone, which is going to work out on this play, but over the long haul, it's going to be a mistake. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to set a trap. We're going to put this defensive end in a hook curl, and then we're just going to basically wait till he leaves the pocket, hit R3, and get a really easy blitz. You can see right here, he rolls out again, hit R3, forces a bad throw. We get an easy interception. So nice trap set up right there. Like I said, that's something that you can do. You don't have to have an exotic blitz. If your opponent's going to leave his blocking, you can do that all game. Uh, next play, we're hitting with that Hawks post one more time, but I notice uh, what looks like a cover two, so we just streak the A route this time. Uh, we're not going to work that Y route. We're just going to basically hit him right over the middle as his user's just a little bit behind, and we get an easy touchdown to go up big. So now we're up two possessions, ten points, uh, and we're, you know, he's going to start running the ball, but ultimately, I mean, given the situation, he can't stick with the run game, so he can have that. So I'm going to come out in a uh, cover one again. Uh, he tries, I guess he recognizes it, tries to throw it up, but cover one's pretty good when it comes to the deep man zones so he's not going to get anything there uh you don't have to have a cover two to have good deep man coverage i mean man coverage is, is pretty strong regardless then on the next play is rolling out russell wilson again gets the first down looking to get more than that uh we're going to hit him with that trap one more time like i said every time he does that we're going to try to bring that trap out on the next play though he's a little bit smarter he doesn't leave nope. uh, his spot but the 
man coverage is locked down. So we're continuing with that look. I'm waiting for him to roll out. I think he's on to it because he really stopped doing it after that first interception. Uh, here, though, you can see he finally moves out, get that uh, that guy in on him, and then he throws it away, uh, gets another incomplete pass. Because, like I said, these man coverages are really tight. Man coverages are really the reason that these balls aren't are getting knocked down. Gotcha, bitch. And then on the next play, I don't know if he thought it was a cover one, but he throws it right to my safety uh, as we come up with a really easy user pick. Uh, and we're basically in the driver's seat now. So three minutes left in the fourth quarter. My goal for the most part here is just to kill clock. Uh, the first play, though, we're going to give him a pass because we don't want him to think that, uh, you know, that we're only going to run the ball. It's just going to make it easier for him to stop us. So ultimately, the first play is a pass just to let him know that we're still in that mindset. And then we basically end with a lot of run plays. Next play, I mean, work done. Still having a great game. Hit it with a nice counter play. Then the next play, we're going to go inside. I mean, my blocking is just on point now. <laughs> just taking everybody out of the way. And then we're basically inside of two minutes. I hit him with a, a, a nice stretch. Uh, beat him to the sideline and we score an easy touchdown uh, to take a three possession lead 29 to 12 so at this point I know what he has to do um, he's not too far off from probably hitting the eject button and then on the next play I mean the man coverage is still super tight you have to use man coverage man supplemented with zones uh, nope. is the best way to go when it comes to coverage you can see the man coverage is knocking out a lot of balls uh, as we're going to finish this game strong third and ten gotcha, bitch. get a nice easy uh, user pick as we flip around and uh, get the interception and that's all she wrote he's going to hit the eject button there and that's it that's the vid so if you guys want to see more tip videos more gameplays do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below